Welcome to the Last Kingdom podcast. This is episode one. Let me let me introduce Mark. All right. No, I'm not going to do an accent. <laughs> Don't do an accent. Tired of man. That reminds me of. Remember, I had to do like a little thing about you when you first came on the show. Yeah, and you said my name wrong about fifteen hundred times. Mark Rowley. Mark Rowley. Rowley, but that's that's fine. Yeah. But is it like, isn't it, isn't it different in reality? You just like sort of make it better for it's each. The actor name's Rowley. What, what's Rowley. the what's the original? Rowley. 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 It's oh, so just like it sounds better. It's like a row. Instead of Rowley. Okay, so let's introduce each other. Oh okay, yeah. Okay, yes. Good idea. So this is Mark. This is Mark. This is Alex. Rowley. Mark Rowley. 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 <laughs> this place is fitted. It's fair. Uh, you introduce Arnas. Oh, yeah. Right, well, we did it from the start. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're, 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 we're doing we're going so good. Right now. Oh, yeah, we're this is great. It, yeah. We're just learning. We we're learning podcast. This is our first interview. Interview. Podcast. Podcast view. View. Pod view. This is Arnas Federovicius. Federovic? Arnas Federovicius. Federovicius. Federov. This is Arnas Federovicius. And this Got right it. here is uh, Alexander Mario Draymond. <laughs> no, <laughs> Please do it. And Arnis plays Citric. I, yeah, it's a good shout. Citric is married. Yeah, SW. Her name is SW. Citric's wife. Mm. We miss her daily. Did you ever play that game in uh, drama school where you just ask each other lots of questions about the character? Oh, I didn't go to drama school. Man. Oh well, <laughs> this is gonna be wouldn't. good. Do this. I mean, I thought it shows. <laughs> a hot seat. We get hot seating. A hot seat. Much. So maybe this is a really good opportunity to ask honest lots of questions about Cedric. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> right. What's Cedric's favorite meal? Citrix's favorite meal is uh, stale bread encrusted with uh, s- about to rot apples. So it's bread, but like little apple crumbs. I was just going to say apples. Apples is our number one nu- nutriment on set. I mean, it's like you're You have like, winter, o- summer, fall, spring, all year round. All Uhtred's muscles are made out of apples. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's set life like? Oh, what's set life like? <clears throat> I... Well, um... We uh, we mostly enjoy the food. Oh yeah, could you um, please every answer, every question that you get, you could you start answering so that we know what's the edge that we can go to because you set the level. I set feel the- it's more fun if you set the edge. Oh man! And if, if we if, and if we pull you back, <laughs> <laughs> or not, um, or not. Well, let's let's uh, let's mix. Let's see what uh. Oddness is always the one. I just fell in this. He tests the boundaries of yes of going over. Uh, Which is important. But yeah, as a that's comedian, comedians do that all the time. That's how I got into acting. I didn't yeah. go to drama school, but I, I tested, you just the, tested the boundaries. Tested boundaries and you're like, <laughs> and it brought you here. There we go. I like that. And that's how I got, you know, here. Did you do your audition naked to get that part I heard? I mean, you... which one I didn't do? Which one I didn't I do naked? That's the, that's the better question. <laughs> do you walk into the room naked? Or <laughs> do you do it close up? No, I walk in with a little, with a little robe of this. <laughs> Take it from. Is that? Oh no! They're they're, <clears throat> they're mowing the lawn. They're mowing the lawn. <laughs> I requested that earlier. All right. Sorry, I didn't cancel the gardeners. <laughs> okay. Uh, so set life. Oh yeah, set life. Well. And um, yeah, it's it's fun. playing pranks on each other, and um, then being serious just as the camera starts rolling. Yeah. Which pretty much. I I feel it's in school of acting in its own, like. It's 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 actually. Since we've been doing the show for so long, we've developed enough, enough uh, trust and in each other and enough confidence in our characters that we don't, we can't do that. We can't just switch it off and on. So yeah, yes, that leads to a lot of pranks. Sorry, I, I'm just undressing. Ian Hart is so good at it. I think he's yeah. been doing it for so long. Can you help? He can That'd have be great, yes. such a laugh oh, right up until action. No, and then when yeah. we are rolling, he's still carrying on with Ian. It's mad. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. I, I was thinking, see when people, I, I'd suddenly realise how um, strange our job can be sometimes. Like it's just so normal being dressed up in armour armor all the time. <laughs> like, yeah. And you just get so used to it. But it's only when other people come on set 
like when you bring people on set, that you like, realise oh how surreal wow. it is. Yeah. yeah, how crazy and fun it is. Mm, you actually, yeah. kind of forget about it. Mm. Cool. It's a good shout. And I'd probably say what's good about our job and us as a cast is actually we get on so well. But that it also like, explains that, like, why you sometimes stay with your costume at the end of the day. It's like you are Mark is the only one that sometimes when leaving the set. Uh, well, I'm gonna get in trouble with Avi. It's because I don't have a lot of clothes. I'm just like, to, <laughs> like to walk around. The t- <laughs> I, I don't. I don't get noticed. Because, you know, when I shave and all that, I shave my beard and mm. I cut my hair, I look different, so sometimes I wear my armour, mm. hoping that people stop me in the London Underground and go, hey, hey, are you that, that guy? guy? And then I go, I go oh no, sorry, I thought you were someone else. Sorry. Oh, classic. Like, oh. oh, sorry. No, I'm on it, good? I'm on it, yeah. Okay. I'm going to need you to do the other side. Maybe I could dress up, we could all dress up for Halloween and then be like, hey, we're the people from Last Kingdom. Nobody's gonna believe it. Nobody's gonna believe it, huh? Yeah. yeah. Like, and then t- people would say, like, oh, you did a terrible job. Butcher doesn't look like that. He's a lot more handsome and bigger. <laughs> Which is fun fact. That's what I thought when I first met him. I was like, oh, I thought this guy's bigger. Do this yeah. part. Well, that bit. Yeah, the top bit. See, See like this coffee? is another part of set life because coffee? costumes are really hard to put on in the morning. And so we have people actually helping us getting ready. And we're grown men. Which is strange. Uh, Makeup, makeup takes a while, doesn't it, in the morning? Yeah. Yeah. About well, who's the longest? Hour, who, who's the longest? Hour and fifty. Hour. Uh, mine's. I think mine ranges from forty-five minutes to an hour fifty. Do you know, I just realise? See, in all the scenes that you do when you get down with the women, <laughs> that, that this takes lo- forever. That long so moment. actually, in a real none of it scene, is realistic. Yeah. So well, you'd be like, in, in realistically, like Finn is always there taking and my costume. <laughs> It'll be two minutes, I swear to God. It'll be two minutes. Oh. Finn! Sorry! I'm sorry! <laughs> She's going! She's leaving! Stop it! Stop her going! That'll be the best thing ever! It worked. It actually worked. Right, did I do need to. It's think? worth the wait! It's worth the wait! <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, I had a question. Oh, yeah. you had a question. Sorry, I got loads of questions. <laughs> so it feels if we don't get an opportunity to really ask questions. See, don't we? <laughs> no, do you know, uh, do you know I what I mean? Like, I mean, I like, when we outside work, we just don't talk about work stuff as much. We just have a laugh. Yeah. But, see, like, how do you get into character in the morning? I've realised that, and I wonder if it's the same, that when you put on an accent, actually you can very suddenly remove yourself. Mm. Do you feel that? So when you Remove on, yourself from what? From other people? Uh, from you, so you remove yourself from you know the the Alex. Oh, I feel this is just like this is like to explaining magic tricks to people. Like I want to keep this. <laughs> like, yeah, have yeah magic there's an element to it. I know. I know. I'll tell you, because <laughs> I feel I think that's the beauty of our job because it's so intangible. Like what goes on on camera, what you see, the emotional life. You don't really know what's going on in there. It could be anything. I could mm. be thinking anything. I could be, maybe mm. I'm pinching myself, maybe I'm something. And you don't really know. And then you work on set and you see other people do this amazing job. And you're like, I, I, wish, I, I wish I'd know. You're, you're a very physical actor. And when you work with other people, it's really nice to see how dedicated you are. So like, if you have to be out of breath, you'll go and be out of breath which is really nice, and then you bring a really beautiful quality to the scene. It's just because I pass out if I, <laughs> if I <laughs> act being out of breath, I have a and then I'm... <laughs> See, but people don't know about that. Like, we're yeah. talking about the other day. So yeah. when you pretend to act out of breath, like... You... Some actors are really good at it. Yeah, some yeah. actors, like, yep, yeah, No, I'll amazing. go running, jumping up and down, yeah. holding my breath, and... But yeah. you do too. We do. Yeah. No, I do sometimes just... Okay, this is a bit of inside the actor's process. But sometimes I feel like we... We practice. We do the both do the different thing just to see at, later to see which one is uh, yeah, more like. Yeah. Cause you do that, and sometimes I do the running with you. But sometimes I'm like, no, 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 I just wanna. This time I'm just gonna and see how it works. Maybe mm-hmm. I'm gonna pass out. Pass out. Maybe it's. How do you look. remember which shot you did what on when you watch it back? Well, I never look at you the stick monitor. Stick like a little. I never look at the monitor, so I can only make. I can watch the the show at the end of it and like. Huh, which one is yeah, this? Yeah, that's what I mean. Well, that's How do you recognize it? Well, I don't. That's the good thing. I don't. It, <laughs> so if, it works, point. if it works, either of them work. I don't know which one. <laughs> so I'm surprised still the end of my you know, to the end of career. I'll come up to the next job like, honestly, oh, do you want to run a little bit or do you want to just go for it?" I'm like, I'll do both. <laughs> I'll do both. I don't know. I don't know. 
<laughs> but what were you saying about the running, about the process thing? I like, um, like, is there a way you get into character, or is there something or a, a trigger that you use to right get into like get focused and ready to do your work? Like, I always seen David. David, I'm sure David won't mind me saying this, but David Dawson, he would very much have that physicality of mm. physically taking on the embodiment of the king. And you don't, if you see him, he's always got his hands clasped and rigid, or he's doing, he's working on. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. I know. I, I know Alex's. I know Alex's. I, in the in the morning, like I'm. Usually we start very early, and at some point, like I'm halfway through dressing, and that gets me into my character as well. I'm like half dressed, still a little bit sleepy, and I hear the Citric, <laughs> and then I'm like, oh shit, Lord, and that's it. I come out, he's already there. I'm Citric, done. Dead. <laughs> Let's go, let's go do it. Let's run around or not. I don't know. <laughs> I think it so much depends on, first of all, the job you're doing. Yeah. Because we've been doing this for so, for long. so like, long. I can switch with on and off, off in a split yeah. second. Mm, you know, totally. I don't need to think about it. I don't need anything to get me in a character. Or whatever. Mm. But then also just on, on the day in terms of concentration for the scenes, it's a completely different vibe on set when we're, when we're doing scenes that are just connective tissue between yeah. stuff, you know, when we're oh, just like walking that. somewhere, like when we're, or, or if we're doing scenes uh, that are joyful or w with the kids around, you know, yeah. but if we're doing scenes that are emotional and we're, where we have to dig deep, nobody messes about, yeah. you know, we, we, we know each other well enough to know that we're, you know, in certain moments we don't go to each other and joke around and, and, mm. and what do you, what do you think Ewan's process is? <laughs> So we have this running joke that Ewan, because Ewan is so mysterious, he's, we never know what he's up to. It's really, that's and I'm convinced that one day we're going to turn on the Oscars and Ewan's going to be on the podium receiving some award. We won't know about it. Yeah. But he's very talented. It's very and mysterious. He's got, yeah, he's. he's I just he's recently understood that. I just really, really recently understood that that's. Somebody introduced me to this book called 48 Laws of Power, or something. One of them is mystery. I always thought Ewan's just shy. I'm like, oh. no, no, no. He's yeah. Ewan's mysterious. He's playing. He's playing. What that. if he's? Because but because then you see people like he does like half a joke on set, but he doesn't finish it, and then people are like, come on, do that joke. It's like, no. and that that's mm. horrible. Like mm -hmm. he's so mysterious, he'll probably hate us talking about it. That's why I'm doing yeah, it. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. why I'm doing it. That's the, that's the main reason. Because I'm allowed now. Books that influence your work. Books. Oh, do the books influence? I was gonna ask if the books, like actual the books, influence Saxon series. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh yeah. I mean, they 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 were my biggest go-to in order to at the beginning, mm -hmm. at least. You know, mm -hmm. now now I've gotten to a point where I read the books for my for my own enjoyment, but Same. not to prep anymore. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. Because also I got to a point where there's there are moments in the books that I'm so looking forward to. Yeah. And then they're not in the scripts. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh. yeah. Yeah, Did I agree. I agree. Like, oh, yeah. it, at first, it started off by being like, oh, I'm just preparing. Now, I mean, I personally haven't yet finished them all. I do two a year, so that every year before the new season starts, I'm like, S I guess it's slightly research, but it's more like, ah, it's that time of the year. I'm gonna read this book because mm. they're pleasant. They're very pleasant reads. Yeah, they are. They are. What about you? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think so. The only time, I think sometimes it's like what you're saying. Like you read it and then. You get excited and you're like, oh my god, maybe we're not going in this direction or doing this. Mm. But because we maybe drive Finn's gonna have a girlfriend. Maybe. What we because we've been living together in between the season, in yeah. between those couple of seasons, we're housemates. We were not in know. the same bed. Not, not, not the same. Bed. Probably best saying that right now. Not really. <laughs> anyway, I feel like in between seasons that we we introduce literature to each other about whatever psychology, the way the mind works, body language. And then those little things, they, you don't, they don't necessarily inspire the whole thing, but the psychological aspects, I feel like we've been using that and trying to bring it in mm. to, I mean, especially you, I feel like, you know, all the books you read about body language and the FBI research that you looked at. Sorry, oh, yeah. I, am I telling no, too much? I feel that works. 
Yeah, I, I was listening to those in LA. Did you, you like them? Get, well, because you yeah. got me onto them. Yeah. yeah. Which ones? Really interesting. The uh, body language stuff. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, that's fascinating. That's yeah. So we're doing ten episodes, and we're not shooting in order a lot of the time. So lots of things are happening, and episode one and two seems so long ago. Like it just seems like years away in my head. Mm-hmm. Right. Can you remember what we done? Are you just like the time? Oh, I can. You can. Oh God, I can. Are yeah. you the same? I could like if you would tell me a scene, I I think I could tell you exactly what happened that day as well. I think. Do you think? Like, well, look, you worry about the types. ideas. Yeah, we worry <laughs> okay. about what happened. Before. Yeah, 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 that's why that's why we're a great like unit because yeah, we f- like we're one person divided into different qualities. Yeah. We have great ideas, great great memory. Alex is just overall awesome. Ewan's mysterious. <laughs> there you have it. One person. One person. That's is quite nice. It's a good journey. From season one, you get to see your character development for sure. That's why I love the books, is you get to see Uhtred grown. But it feels yeah. like you can't just start off. With, you need to start off at the start. Because some really good characters to in watch season the series. one. Yeah, in yeah, season one, there's some great start. characters. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's another thing about this show that I personally really like. Is that everyone? Uh, this might come across as weird. I don't know. I feel like just watching the show. Wait. I feel that everyone is really, really devoted. You get mm. some shows, and I don't. There's a lot of great shows, right? But sometimes you see that somebody. Maybe I shouldn't say this. No, you're right. I think the fan base we have is is very solid mm. and very kind. Mm. Yeah, that that is that because, is beautiful. Because. Uh, I, I, this Instagram thing, right, that, like, I, I'm pretty new to it, and everybody was saying there's so much hate, and it's so much, uh, the fan base we have are, they're awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly, honestly also so surprised, kind. I haven't mm. had and any. And so supportive, and, and so lovely, and, yeah, I, was I, a bit I think it's true. I'm surprised that I didn't, I was imagining, like, as more, the more, the bigger following you get, eventually, like, some anger or something, I did not see any of that, it's just, like, constantly positive positive beautiful things and yeah, yeah. it's really cool I'm really really appreciative so of grateful for that yeah great Fallon followers and fans thank you for listening to the Last Kingdom podcast thank you and tune in next time take care <laughs>